Next up, we have Matt Malinowski. He's apparently a big person here. Everybody loves you here. That's great. He, uh, for a living, he talks about the future of energy efficiency. And during this, this talk, he's going to say how I guess we need to be a little bit skeptical about that. So, Matt Malinowski. Thank you. Good, good. Hello. I'll be talking a little bit about predictions, try to sum everything up. And we hear predictions all the time, not just tonight, but every day, every single day. So my question to you is, how confident should you be in these predictions? And I kind of hate to burst everyone's bubble, but I'd say not at all. Our prediction instinct, very primitive. It's based on past observations, generalizations, like all lions are dangerous, um, which you know works sometimes. But uh, if you take a lot of common situations, for example, imagine a turkey being fed every day by a farmer. It's just going to get more and more optimistic until one day in November, you know, something's going to happen. Uh, not going to be pretty. So, but it's easy to be that turkey, right? Uh, you know, think about our past observations can't always predict the most influential events. And what's worse is right at the moment when something big's going to happen is when you feel most secure. But, you know, we're not turkeys, right? We have computer models telling us what to do in the future, financial models, you know, uh, election handicapping. But the issue is what's included in the model, right? Uh, Donald Rumsfeld said the unknown unknowns, the assumptions. Like maybe the assumption that house prices will keep on going up, which will lead you to lend money to people with no assets, no income, and we can know how, how well that worked out. So, um, but, you know, what about our experts? You know, trust them. But research has actually shown that uh, experts are really, the more renowned they are, the more famous they are, the worse they do at predicting, right? So actually not much help. So you can't use your past observations, you can't use models, and you really can't trust the experts that run them. It's kind of, uh, again, sorry for the downer. But, okay, so here's an illustration of this in, in practice. This is uh, predictions of gas prices over time. Remember a couple years ago, they spiked. Nobody saw it coming. And now in purple is the model from 2010. Again, it's not going to predict that thing. So it's useless. The model is useless. Uh, and, you know, people say it's an outlier. But here's uh, the stock market. The bottom graph is the 10 biggest one-day outliers removed and the stock market suddenly lost half its value, right? So outliers matter. They're very impactful. And the events that can lead to them happen all the time. Here's some things from the past year. You know that thing in the Gulf, right? It could have been a lot worse. What if they banned all maritime oil transport, right? Imagine that would have led to some outliers. What really matters is how society responds to them. And as we see all around us, society really wants strong responses, right? The atmosphere is charged. Every event uh, is... is potentially a flashpoint, which will lead to lots of outliers and, you know, forecasts that don't work. So just to sum up again, you know, we have uh, these outliers that are really impactful and they're really potentially really frequent. And they depend on how society reacts, which is bad news for us at this time. So what do you do? I say make a quick checklist, you know, start with being skeptical, ask questions, What's the model? What are the assumptions? What's the historical basis? Uh, here's another question. You know, what are the potential impacts? Is it something that's unbounded? Or is it, you know, for example, are we talking about height? A person can grow to be a billion feet tall, but they can go to have a billion dollars, a trillion dollars. It's all potentially possible. Uh, watch out for things that are over-optimized, too, too interconnected, too big to fail. Uh, something that was over-optimized, Detroit. How's that going, right? So if too big to fail, fail at will, right? Uh, don't try to assess the probability of really infrequent events. You'll fail. Instead, work on your exposure. You know, don't try to see, oh, am I going to get robbed tonight or not? Don't walk with $1,000 in your pocket, right? Uh, oh, hi, Grandma. Uh, that's my grandma. You know, every time I talk to her, it, she speaks with such wonder about the modern world and all the things she couldn't have predicted, right? So talk to your elders, get some perspective. You know, there's so many things we can't even imagine. And lastly, stay optimistic. 
you know, these predictions are impossible. Nobody owns the future, so don't let some expert and their models dissuade you from pursuing your ideas. So my name, again, is Matt Malinowski. Uh, thank you again. Here's some books that inspired this talk. They're good reads. Enjoy them. Thank you, Matt.